leaving Austria now, going into Hungary for, I don't know, perhaps only a few days. We're gonna see how we go. First destination is Sopran, right in the- Sopran. So Sopran, right in the north west corner. And it's just a little bit that sticks out into Austria basically. It's about 17 kilometers that zip from one side of the town or the bit that sticks out to the other side. So we may just dip our toes in or we may stay in for a few days while heading south. Like we, we need to head south so we don't really have time now to explore Hungary and go to Budapest and explore it further. Get a little taste. Sopran's supposed to be a nice little town. Get a flavour for it. One of the top places to visit, recommended by the Lonely Planet. Should be nice. The boys are really, really excited that it's New Country Day. Um, well, not really, but we are, aren't we? So it's quite exciting to be in a new country. So we're going to pop into town, hopefully get the exchange place before it closes, change a bit of cash and have a little look around. So it's a bit of a late lunch of smoked sprats from the tin, rice crackers. When we were in Australia in our van traveling around, we had these smoked oysters, which were just a little tin of oysters, really, really nice flavor. And you used to have loads of them, haven't found them anywhere. And then Sarah's just opened this tin of sardines, sprats from Slovakia we bought, and they're just the same. Super excited. Quite nice. goes there's like things to bark at like the horses and big dogs over there loads of children it's quite funny he's a bit grumpy he's a bit cold yeah, he's, isn't he's it? not he's not very well he was sick in the van this morning um so he's a bit grumpy and he's a bit cold and he's just growling and barking at everyone hey this this <laughs> oh you're gonna start me then aren't he come here come here good boy good boy has anyone seen the film the birds It looks like we're not going to be alone after all tonight. Charlie, what's mum doing to you? <laughs> Wiping his paws. Alright guys, well, we've ended up staying for our first night, well not staying, and we haven't stayed yet we're here about to stay for our first night in Hungary in the wilderness a little bit isolated must admit there's no one else here it's completely pitch dark it's about eight kilometers outside of the town and um, we decided to come here rather than staying in the town in a car park you know it's always nicer to be in the nature so we decided to come up here instead and there was quite a few cars here when we arrived but now there's nobody the car park is completely empty. It's so dark, so scary. But we came up. Here. <laughs> we came up here just because it's just better for us fan people to sort of be away from the towns. So yeah, we had a nice walk round the Sopron, a little the old sort of medieval town. Had a really nice square, loads of little streets centered around that square, all sort of cobbled. It looked quite old slightly sort of pastely coloured buildings. It was really nice and there was some sort of event going on or some, I don't know, some sort of mini festival. There was like, all oh, everyone dressed up in typical Hungarian outfits and ladies singing down one street. Yeah, there was like a band, weird, bit of a weird band. But, and then doing traditional dancing and loads of people dressed up dotted round. So that made it really cool. It was really good. This is probably the coldest night so far of the trip. So, so we've got a nice hot meal. And yeah, we're just hoping that we don't, you know, get murdered, basically. Alright, well, we actually slept really well here. And um, we were safe, and it was our first night in Hungary. 
really glad that we drove up into the sort of nature rather than staying down in the town. There is actually one van down the far end, so I think they might be sleeping in their van too. So we weren't completely alone after all. But yeah, did you sleep really well? Totally, yeah. Dizzy was actually down the bottom yeah. corner of the bed, so I could actually stretch out. And Dizzy Charlie... was in a really good position <laughs> last night. Because usually the dogs, they, they do affect how we sleep and we're stupid because we should really move them so we get a really comfortable sleep but we can't, we just let them go where they want to go and then we kind of just adjust ourselves around the dogs. So yes, they always get a good night's sleep, that's the main thing. <laughs> this little rascal doesn't want to get up this morning. I'm making the beds, look look how he's he's just kind of... You're making the bed, putting all the bedding in this corner, and then he's just constantly trying to <laughs> trying to bury to get in amongst the bed. So that's the difference. Dizzy just wants to get back into bed, and Charlie <laughs> wants to go outside. to go out. So yeah, we normally pile all the bedding up in the back left corner with a ni our nice red fluffy blanket on top, and then Dizzy gets a little comfortable little bed see that's dizzy now that's him set up probably for the next couple of hours <laughs> oh, oh look, at, look him. at him when it's cold like this dizzy doesn't even want to go out for his morning pee walk at first and like he'll let us know if he needs to go out totally cute and now we can put the bed up you see and he just stays in the back out of the way out of mischief so yeah and charlie's always Always keen to get out for a walk. So yeah, this is a little nature reserve where we are. Come on, Charlie. Um, so at the top of the hill, just up from Sopron. There's quite a few cars here last night. Now it's completely empty apart from the other camp there. The picnic benches behind me there. There's a walk off in that direction. Another walk there. Really peaceful. Really, really nice. actually as cold as I thought it was going to be this morning. I thought it was going to be like five or six degrees or something crazy, but it's in the van it's 10, 10, 11 degrees. So that's not actually that bad. Improvisation. <sighs> yep, yeah, the best way to warm up in the morning, <sighs> instead of sitting around going, oh, it's cold, just get on with a bit of a workout. Skipping my new workout, you literally do a few minutes of skipping and you're just out of breath and warmed up. Um, yeah, Nick's improvising. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so many moves you can do with these. Twenty-two. Knackered already. Can't be doing skipping. Come I've been on. skipping since I was a Skip it. Got your jumper on, you're still cold. It's camera shy, Charlie, this. Don't be shy, Charlie. It does get camera shy, doesn't it? Boys have got their winter woolies on already. Oh, look at Dizzy, he still looks cold and tired. Finally out of bed. So, guess what? We've had a change of plan again. As happens with van life, plans change all the time, even more so with the Explorers. So, yeah, to cut a long story short, we're going back to Austria. We're gonna to head to Graz, which I really wanted to go to. Sarah's got another reason to go back there. Yes, just found a little park up on Park for Night, Arnold Schwarzenegger's hometown, where he used to train by a lake and there's an Arnold Schwarzenegger museum, but I've Googled that and it looks crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, the main reason is, basically what we need to be doing now is heading into Slovenia and we should really be getting there as quickly as possible because time's ticking by and it is getting colder and we really want to see Slovenia and Croatia. That was kind of like highlights of this trip. So yeah, we are going to save Hungary for when we do the next trip and the big loop all the way around because we thought then we can just see a lot more of it. So I think, yeah, priority is to get to Slovenia as quickly as possible. For sure, yeah. 
so that means the quickest route is to go back slightly in through Austria and head down that way. I'm hungry. You can't keep saying that. Oh, I'm hungry, in hungry, I'm you hungry, You can't keep in saying hungry. it, I've told Nick, oh, every time he says he's hungry, you he can't say that in Hungary. Oh. Charlie, want to come home with Papa, come on. He's wearing come the on. same matching jumper oh, as you again. again. Oh, it just keeps happening, Charlie, who's dressing you? <laughs> you can probably take it off him now because it's getting warm, isn't it? Oh. Come on, let's get on. Matching jumper, matching hair. They say dogs look like their owners. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do. And keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.